How are you doing? Hopefully, not too confused, but don't worry if all the parts haven't nicely fitted into your personal map yet. They will. So let's have a bit of a summary and let's see how we are framing this. First, a big point that reality is a personal construction and it comes from our sensory experience, but it's always mediated by existential filters. And existential quite means fundamental to the human condition universally. Everybody has belief systems in different cultures. Yes, they have different belief systems, different personality configurations, and we're all stuck with limited attention and memory systems, particularly working now. The map, our own internal representation system, how we interpret the world and interact with the world, is not the territory, the external world, it's a representation of this. And for people who have very poor internal representations, life can be very difficult. So it's not surprising that there is a lot of internal chaos, because the mind is a multimodal computational system with competing agendas. So it's often difficult to manage it. I'm sure we know this. However, the better we can manage it, the better we can build more useful representational maps that are more in tune with what we really know about reality, a more scientific approach, the more successful we're likely to be. And this is the big point that as humans, we can re-engineer, the word is reframe our thinking and behavior. And as we do this, we will be improving our maps and we can develop better or more effective psychological states, the way we manage ourselves, the way we feel, the way we interpret information and reality. And use strategies that are more likely to get good results. And these strategies, as we see, are behavioral strategies, they're specific things we do. Now the red bits, well, this is what we're going to be moving on to. We're going to see that there are recognisable successful strategies. And this is what people um, who are very effective have actually learned and do. And these successful strategies can be modelled. We can understand how they work. People do specific things in specific ways consistently. And once we understand how this works, it becomes resources for us to get better results as we learn to use them within our own um, personal selves, our own personal worlds. And we can productively influence the thinking of the other families. In other words, if we're working with students, there are things that we can do that can help them to think more productively and behave more productively. There are specific communication strategies techniques and we'll be looking at these in the face-to-face -face session very specific 